in question number 7 we are given a system of equations and we need to find for what values of abc does the above system have no solution so what i'm going to use is called gaussian elimination or the gauss jordan method and i have an entire playlist on linear algebra so you can watch that if you're not comfortable with this solution so what I, what what we are going to do essentially is write it down in the write down the system in a simpler way. So it's the same system. I am just writing down the coefficients of x, y, and z uh, for the three equations, and then I am also going to include the right hand side. Now I'm going to try to reduce the system. I'm going to eliminate variables from each of the equation one by one. So we identified the first pivot at, as the first element in the first column. So this is my first pivot and using this I want to make zeros below it. So I want to convert these two numbers into zeros. So I am going to perform this row operation. R2 uh, would be R2 minus 2 times R1 and R3 third row. I want the third row to achieve the third row I'm just going to subtract the first row from it okay so this will in turn give me the following system 1 2 minus 3 and a the first row obviously remains the same I have not done anything to it in the second row I am going to subtract two times the first row from it so this would turn out to be 0 this would be 2 and this would be minus 5 and this is just b minus 2a Similarly, for the third row, uh, we would have 1 minus 1, that is 0, minus 2 minus 2 minus 4, uh, 7 plus 3 should be 10, and this is just C minus A. You could also understand this if you've never studied linear algebra. It's just uh, subtracting two equations. So, what I've done is I've, I've taken equation 2 and subtracted equation 2 times of equation 1 from it, and I have taken equation 3 and subtracted equation 1 from it. That's all that I've done in this step right here. Okay, so next I want to identify the next pivot. Uh, a pivot in the second column and this 2 turns out to be that pivot. And using this pivot, I want to convert the numbers below it to be 0. To 0, so, so I want to convert this to 0. So this is a simple row operation as well. Uh, we are just going to take the third row and from the third row we'll subtract we'll add two times of row one so this would turn out to be uh, one two minus three a zero two minus five b minus two a and finally this would be zero this would become zero because that's what we wanted and it just so happens that this, this also becomes 0. And on the right hand side we have C minus A plus 2B minus 4A. So after this point we are done with the Gaussian elimination. And if you, if you convert back this last row into the equation form where you have the variables x, y and z. Uh, it would look something like this. 0x plus 0y plus 0z zero equal to c plus 2b minus 5a. So this left hand side is essentially 0 and it is equal to c plus 2b minus 5a. Now if I were to choose a, b and c such that this expression turns out to 0 then we could have a solution to the system. But if this expression if it turns out to be not equal to 0 then we would have 0 equal to something that is non-zero non and this would render the entire system unsolvable. So we won't have a solution in that case. So because of this we have our answer as option A.